what's up Gemini's this is evolving wisdom and yes I'm here and I'm still evolving all right Gemini's we're gonna jump right into you guys energy but before I do I want to say happy birthday to all my Gemini's okay I hope you guys are really celebrating your birthday this month or if it already passed I really hope you guys have a great time you guys deserve it you guys been through a lot okay we all have and it's 2020 okay um, but you guys have enjoy your time have some fun I don't think I had to tell my Gemini's that I think you guys are really going to into one of some big things okay <laughs> all right Gemini so you guys thank you all for the donations and the support if you guys would like to continue to donate because that does help my channel out you can hit me up at evolving wisdom five.com you can donate on that um on my website you can donate and it's also going to be pinned at the bottom in the description box um how you can donate okay okay gemini's let's go if i haven't said it you guys please like share and subscribe that does help my channel out show some support okay hit me up on evolving wisdom five that's my instagram okay i put a lot of um feedback from my products and my items and my services and i also put it in the community board too okay so you guys check that out okay a lot of new things is coming on my website um i haven't even put it up yet but yeah <laughs> all right you guys let's jump into your energy what is going on with my gemini's what is going on with my gemini's 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 Gemini's. What's going on with my Gemini's? Gemini's. Gemini's. What's going on with my Gemini's? What's going on with my Gemini? Gemini's you guys have some some new beginnings coming in here are some some surprise luck energy is coming in a lot of happiness that's coming towards you guys also here I do feel um I still feel that energy of the a feminine energy around you who is doing something or trying to um, do some things but I do feel like you guys in the month of June here have a lot of great news coming in towards you there's a new relationship on the horizon for you here that's going to cause some mm, some disturbance here okay there is someone else involved also here okay big increase in finances for you guys here some of you guys been looking for employment or just been getting back on your shit here. There is new beginnings coming in towards that here. But there is just some burdens, some secrets that are being healed um, against you. I feel like some of you guys have, may have found out some things that was going on behind your back here. There is a change coming here, major change that's going to interfere here with your money. Okay, you guys have money flowing in in the month of June, but there's something that's going to come in and throw you off here. Okay, let's get into a little bit more here. What's going on with my Gemini's? What's going on with my Gemini's here? Financial abundance is coming towards you here. There's a little increase here, but there's a ch some of you guys are looking to move, but there's blockages around you guys move here. Some of you guys are wanting to relocate or anything. There's not nothing good. Or, there's no uh, positive energy of letting you go forth when it comes to your this move here. Okay. I just feel like a lot of you guys need to avoid the relationship at this moment. Focus on your finances here. That's where a lot of your abundance is coming in towards you here. Be careful of getting into a relationship. I feel like there is someone who you departed from who is that you guys know. I feel like there is a masculine energy for a lot of you guys. It could be a female resonating high resonate. Remember, this is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. So if I'm not connecting with your energy, I'm just not connecting with your energy. Get a personal reading. Okay. So that's, there's a lot of greatness coming in towards you guys here when it comes to your finances and getting back on your feet. But there is just, I feel like someone you separated from who is not letting go. And I feel like there is a warning against you getting into any relationship also here. Okay. It could be with a Virgo 
Virgo that may be coming towards your way or you're dealing with or this person has a Virgo in their chart very strongly. Okay, there is a big be cautious. I feel like you guys know this person already or their spirit is very similar here. Okay, some of my Geminis could be doing this also here. Some of you guys are addicted to love. Um, Gemini. Some of you guys just are like overly fantasizing about unrealistic expectations when it comes to love. And you could be doing that very well more in this month here. Um, the end of May into this month because of all the retrograding here. I, I warn you guys do not get caught up in illusions when it comes to love because once this retrograde all of these things subside subdue you guys will be kind of like what the hell did i get myself into okay there's just there there's a lot of depressed energy around someone separating from you or you going into a relationship here i feel like a lot of my male gemini's or female however it goes but i feel like i'm speaking to a male gemini's are attracted to a certain type of female energy and this female energy is it's just a cycle you constantly going around in the same cycles of women maybe they're very attractive but spiritually wise they are very dead or they want to consume you because they have no life within them Whoever this energy is that you guys are dealing with here, they have a soulmate. And I don't mean a soulmate. This is like their husband or their wife energy. And even if they're not really, they're not married, this, this relationship is extremely strong. It's extremely strong. They just like to dip one dabble when everybody else is cookie still though. You have relationships like that. You have open relationships and things of that sort. And that's fine as long as, long as you let that person know, hey, I'm... I do my thing, you know what I mean? I can't be tied down. I ain't trying to be tied down. I'm trying to do me. So, you know, let people know that if that's how you want to live your life and your journey here, let everybody that you come encounter with that may be in a monogamy, like, like monogamy type of relationships, let them know, you know, hey, I'm into non-monogamy type of relationships. Be you. I always say that. Be you. Just let people know because everybody you don't get down like that. Okay, a lot of disappointments here. There is a relationship. There is a relationship you have with a female at one point of time, maybe a friend or a best friend or a family member who you were close to at one point in time, Gemini's, who is very upset, very envious, has, has always been that way towards you. They have never liked you. They have never liked you, um, Gemini's. I'm just, you know, that may hurt a couple of you guys' feelings, but that's just the honest truth here. They've always been envious, and it could be family, friends. It's a female, I feel, um, here. Interference. Relationships. Any relationships, you guys. I just feel like a lot of my Geminis need to evolve first when it comes to certain things here. It may not be for all of you guys, but I feel like for the ones I'm speaking to, you guys need to still evolve a little bit more when it comes to relationships. Or who you choose in relationships. Because they are only a reflection of yourself. Some of you guys are mirroring these relationships. And you're thinking that it's all this person. But it's not. It's, it's, you, you're, you're constantly going around in circles. You're, you are not who you attract. But you are who you entertain. So you guys be careful with that. You know. Uh, come out of the blaming. Like this person is this person. No, 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 no. Okay. Pay attention to you. What are, why are you allowing these type of individuals to come into your life? Are you rushing in and falling all in love and thinking this is the one? Some of you guys have a lot of fairy tale energy. When you meet somebody, you you start fantasizing about a life with them and everything. And just like, hold on, you just met this person. Okay. Let's see here. Gemini's. 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 I feel like some of you guys may have gotten some spiritual cleansing or spiritual help or spiritual, uh, something spiritual when it comes to cleansing here. And I feel someone is kind of like looking on at you, trying to see what you are doing or how to penetrate your protection energy you got around you here. I see you feel a lot of jealousy, a lot of anger here. I feel like someone is either getting readings on you or they are uh, spiritually watching you. Okay? 
It's like someone knows, knows you. Okay, you guys have a love affair or attraction. The spirits is not agreeing with. Keep your asses out of relationships. This is a warning. You guys, you know, this is always, you guys always can change your reading. You always can get the um, the message and change around things and um, change the outcome of things. Okay, by dodging asses. Okay. Some of you guys may be going through some legal issues here with a male and a female or it may be transpiring very soon. Um, coming in. Let's see. What is going on with my Geminis? Geminis. Geminis. What do my Geminis need to know? I'm there with this hidden with my Geminis. I'm there with this hidden. There's new beginnings here. There's leave. There's moving into calmer, calmer waters. Like leaving behind. Some of you guys are leaving behind the old ways of self. Okay. There's judgment coming in, but this is righteous judgment. And all of this judgment that's coming in for you guys is for because of you, because you are doing it. Okay. You are creating this judgment. Okay. A lot of Weight is going to be lifted off your shoulders. I do feel a lot of cleansing here that's been going on for my Gemini. Spiritual cleansing here. You guys will finally get a piece of the pie here. But make sure everything is in balance here. Make sure you're not pouring into somebody else's cup more than you are pouring into yours. Some of you guys give too much in a relationship here. Some of you guys, and I always feel this with my Gemini. Some of you guys talk too much. Some of you guys have been telling too much of your business here. Some of you guys have been telling too much of your business here. You do got someone who's very envious around you here. Very envious. Just make sure you guys are not giving more in a relationship or giving more to a friendship, family, whatever it is, than they you are receiving. Sit back and relax and listen to your intuition here. Gemini is here. Your, you guys' intuition is very strong at this moment here. Okay? There is some jealousy around you some very envious people who want to do harm towards you here but you guys are standing in your ancestor power for some of you guys and walking away i feel like a lot of you guys have been connecting with the spiritual realm and some of you guys are walking in that spirit of that that that, that entity that is around you ancestor however you guys want to relate it angels whatever i feel like you guys are actually embodying some of you are embodying your the protection energy you have around you here. New beginnings is on the horizon here. Some of you guys are walking into financial abundance here. Just be careful that you guys are not going to be playing around with fire. I'm not telling you guys to run every time a relationship comes away, comes your way. It's just pay attention. It just doesn't mean um, don't have con converse back and forth with people or males or females. Okay? It just means just be on your shit. Okay? Don't just be falling all in love so fast not saying that everybody's doing that here but okay there's a lot of endings coming here a lot of death coming to a lot of things and like i said before a lot of my gemini's are doing this they are creating this outlet for them everything this time around was put up on you to do if you want change if you want uh, abundance then it's all up on you to do it yourself here this time around there's not a lot of help you have to say, okay, I need to change and do it. There's a lot of snakes. I feel like you guys have a lot of snakes around you, but you're standing up for yourself and standing in your power here. Once again, they want you to pay attention to your intuition. And it's not always a voice. It is a feeling. It is a knowing. It is a calmness that comes over you. Okay? You got some deceptive masculine or feminine energy around you guys make sure you are seeing things clearly don't go off the handle and get it put yourself into a situation that you know you can't get your ass up out of gemini's okay because some of you guys can be some hotheads okay that's a lot of great luck is coming in for my gemini's here from some of you guys have really been doing the work some of you guys have been really paying attention to your spirit guides okay a lot of rebirth, as I said, a lot of rebirth is coming in, but I feel like you guys are doing this. This is all on you. Okay? Give thanks to yourself. I was just telling that, I think, to my Virgos or a Tauruses. Okay? You guys, give thanks to yourself. Pat yourself on the fucking back. Quit giving thanks to everything outside of yourself. Okay? If you don't get up, if you don't have the mind frame to change things in your life when, when change needs to be brought about, then nothing will occur. 
You can pray to whoever. If you don't get up and do the actual work, if you don't actually lose the weight, or if you don't actually go look for the job or create a business, whatever you do, then nothing will happen. Give thanks to yourself. Okay? Yeah, you guys need to figure out what type of way. Some of you guys, like I said, are trying to move. Some of you guys want to relocate or just change your... But there's a blockage just put up. There is blockages put up with that. There, there's, no, there's no happiness with that, that move or that change or that 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 is not coming towards you here. Okay, some of you guys are feeling entrapped here. A lot of financial abundance is coming towards my um, Gemini's here. Some of you guys may be messing with the Pisces here or Scorpio energy I'm hearing. Here, very strong Scorpion energy also. Okay, what is going on? What's going on with my Gemini's, Gemini's? Walking away from the bullshit. Put down the toxic shit, Gemini's. And I think I told you guys this last time. Some of you guys be doing too much. It's not benefiting you. Some of you guys are either eating crazy, smoking, drinking, and it does not work for you anymore. Maybe you did it in the past, or maybe it's stress. Put it down. Have some self-control. Be in control of you. Don't let addictions or anything be have that much control over you. That is power when you can control what you put in and out of your body. I'm not saying you're perfect and you want to be in control all the time. But let's not sit up and do that shit every damn day. Quit looking back. Quit reminiscing. That shit is old. It's time to move on. I don't know who that's for, but that shit is old. Whatever you're thinking about is old. It's, it's no longer in your life. It's time for you guys to move on and create something new. Create new memories, good ones, okay? Be careful of someone coming in, offering you some bullshit ass nothing, okay? There is a tower moment coming for a lot of you guys. I feel like some of you guys are doing this yourself. They want you to sit your ass down on that money that's coming towards you. There is a lot of finances coming towards you. They want you to sit your ass down on it, Okay? A lot of balance is coming in, and this keeps coming out. You guys want to have victory. Some of you guys got a, a real true romance coming in towards you, and some of you guys just got everything you want when it comes to life as far as um, financially. There's just a lot of growth. A lot of you guys have been doing the work. A lot of you guys have been growing. A lot of you guys have been evolving, and I feel I keep saying this because I feel like it's, just, it's you who's been putting in the work, okay? It's you who wants to change in your life. You guys got to go hard with it. You got to go hard with it. You got to be stubborn when it comes to your change. Like going cold turkey. Okay? Because there's a lot of manifestation coming in for my Geminis here. What is going on with my Geminis? Okay? Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Some of you guys need to put down the toxic shit. Some of you guys need to get out of a relationship or just let go. Some of you guys feel like have let go of relationships or trying to let go, but it's still like lingering around you. Okay? Let go that what no longer serves you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Okay? It's time for you to get a balance here. Take everyone's input into consideration. Listen. There's people coming into your life to help guide you, Gemini. Some of you guys need some guidance. We all need guidance, okay? Whether it's through a human or spirit, okay? Embrace your true purpose, Geminis. Be practical with respect to how you proceed, okay? Take your time. Some of you guys are going to be falling in love with this new energy. Y'all going to be swept off your feet. And y'all need to say y'all ass is grounded, okay? No, don't get swept off your feet. Stay grounded, okay? Because it's some bullshit. It is some bullshit, okay? <laughs> All right, Gemini's, that is your mid... No, that's not your mid. That is your June read. Stay tuned to, for the mid read. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like a personal reading, please hit me up at EvolvingWisdom5.com. Again, this is Evolving Wisdom. And yes, I'm here. And I'm still evolving.